Hi, do you hope you won? My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome to today's video sponsored by Epic Games. Thank you very much to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. Now, I was preparing myself for what we're about to witness. I was doing some mental gymnastics. Oh, hey, this is... I can explain. Used to do them as a kid. I was a lot better than mental gymnastics is no joke, but I'm preparing myself because a low IQ... What am I? I guess Neanderthal? Being a ooga ooga person that I am, you know, I'm gonna have to elevate my brain function because uh, it's auto chess time. Yeah! Now I know what you're thinking. Like this chess? Imagine this is like a chess piece. No! Do I actually have chess? I don't know, let me go check. A few inches later. All right, well, the bit's ruined. Great, I was, I was gonna, Turns out we don't have a chess set. Why don't we? I was uh, there was gonna be a bit. I was I was gonna be like you mean like this chess, and then I was gonna throw it. And be like no. Time has passed. Let's just get into it. I'm talking about this auto chess, based off of well actually it's from the original creators of the Dota auto chess mod where this whole shenaniganery began. This is their creators. This is their game, Auto Chess. It's free on the Epic Games Store. Click the link down in the description box below to go get it yourself on the Epic Games Store. And if you make any in-app purchases or anything, make sure to use creator code Mr. Fruit. That'd be cool. Now I've played Auto Chess and Auto Chess like games, but the thing I like the most about Auto Chess is I think it's the most beginner friendly. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Wow. Okay, I can start round one by starring this guy up if I want to. So I'm actually gonna lock the store here. So if you are unfamiliar with how this works, auto chess, you get these creatures, they all have their synergies, which do different things. Like for instance, we have here stone spirit, which has the spirit trait and the warrior trait. Now, if you get X amount, you'll see over here, like let's say I got two spirit, I'm gonna have to move my face, aren't I? So different down here. All right, well, this should be better. So what happened was you missed it. I just ended up buying those two other ones. They combined to a two star unit, which you can see here. There's a lot to take in and auto chess, but let me, let me put it this way. Imagine you're playing chess, but it, you could, you could, they would battle and it, it would happen automatically. You get what I'm getting at? Maybe not, but that's okay. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go for marksman. Why not? I like marksman. I think it's fun. I need to buy something else, I think. Oh God, what am I buying? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I don't know, I'm buying another one of these. Oh, this can't be good. Okay. Now see, this is the cool part, what I just did here. So imagine you have chess, but instead of pawns and knights and bishops and kings and queens, they're monsters. And they all have special traits. Put enough out on the field to activate said special traits. So for instance, well, I need to pick one of these items. I'm gonna grab this. Looks pretty cool. So, Hunter. Oh, sorry, it's the Hunter trait. Oh, but I'm trying to explain to them. Oh, okay, well, that's a Hunter. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna slot you in right there, buddy old pal. So, so get this. I can click this button, and it will position my board to what it thinks is gonna be the best place to put them all based on my comp. Which in all other auto battlers, you have to figure that out yourself and that could be one of the turnoffs. People are like, I don't get the positioning. Who needs to go in the front? Who needs to go in the back? How does this work? Well, guess what? Click that button and it'll help you. And the more you know, the more nuanced it can be. Like obviously that helps, but nine times out of 10, if you actually know how to play and want to position yourself, you can probably make a better lineup, but this is a great way to start. And I'm actually, I'm absolutely dumping on this rooster cockadoo looking son of a gun. If you see there, I really am a ooga booga. I'm a unga bunga goblin. And okay, so oh, that's great. Another another hunter and another hunter. So watch this trade over here. We have two out of three. Boom! Three out of six. So now what's activated is all allied hunters gain attack and have a 50% chance to not miss on attacks, which is great because there is a certain perk where people are actually harder to hit. And if we go up against those, you guessed it, we're gonna be looking a okay. So yeah, we're going marksman or uh, Hunter, I always forget. It's a great build, in my opinion. And here's a, here's another awesome part about it, okay? I can just go like, uh, you know, recommended lineup. I have some Hunters. Maybe I wanna go for, uh, let's go for Warrior Hunter. Boom. So now, when new stores come up, 
I've enabled this so it shows me what I want. And if somebody that's in that lineup shows up in my shop, it'll let me know. It'll be like, yo, you dingus, buy this. Okay, so battle begins. So you'll see everybody has their own traits, whatever they're supposed to do. It all starts and then it all battles out by itself. By itself. That's why it's called auto chess. I don't know. Crazy, right? And we're absolutely dumpstering on kids. So the way this works, you can see over here, everybody has health. I am one of two people who is yet to lose. When you reach zero health, guess what? You're done for. And you lose health depending on when you lose, how many people they they defeated you with and what part in the game it is. So later in the game, you're going to be taking more damage. But you want to build up an economy. You want to buy your items. You want to combine them. Because like I said, if you get three of one unit, they become a two star. And then if you get three two stars, they become a three star. And as you imagine, the better the stars, the better the character and the unit. Like I said, a lot of digest here. But you guys are smart. I know you can do it. Okay, so nothing here I want. Fine. So I could re-roll the shop. And quite frankly, I think I will. Uh, we hit nothing. So that's unfortunate. Let's try one more time. Oh, I get to star somebody up. Okay. We'll start with that. It's not a great start. We're still struggling a little bit, but that's okay. But now that this person's a two star, it's our best carry. We're going to put our items on them and then we're going to pray. But oh, tis the season. Look at these little golems. They got presents. So every now and then you get AI rounds, which means item drops and all that kind of good stuff. So look at that. I got a magicka staff and then they'll probably drop something I get to choose from. Survey says. There we go. So I'm going to go with ability damage because we're all about damage right now. And I could actually combine these so the owner has 35% ability damage. I'm going to put that on somebody. We're going to put that item on our carry again. We're going to look at the store. Oh, see that check mark? Beautiful. That means we want that person. That's great. We say nay. How about we do that? Oh, that's great. Okay. And with that, we didn't hit any new synergies, I don't think. Oh, we did. We did. We hit, uh, oh, of course, the Eager Egersis trait, which we're going for. So all enemies lose four armor. And then if we get four of them, all enemies lose eight armor. And so the idea here is we get this trait to lower their armor, which protects them against physical damage. And then we have hunters who do a whole bunch of physical damage. So inherently, they're doing more damage. You see what I'm getting at here? <laughs> this game makes me feel so smart. Perfect. Oh, Wind Ranger. Another evil knight. Umbra. Wait a second. I actually think I have six hunter. So if I put you here and you here. Oh, one more. One more. Okay, so we'll just have to go all in on the hunter trait. But that means we currently have six people. Uh, so right now we have max buff, which all allied hunters gain 85 attack and have a 65% chance to not miss on attacks. That is a lot of damage. So I'm hoping that this raw damage will carry us through the earlier rounds before we get a bit more of a front line because most of the hunters aren't so much, you know, people you want to put on the front line. They want to sit in the back, their range, they want to deal more damage. But we're working with what we got and it's working. Because we're in second place. However, there's this guy. Um, this is his board. Whatever he's doing seems to be... Is he... He's not going my build, is he? I think he's going my build. Okay, I don't see anything here, which means I'm going to take my extra XP. Because after 50 gold, you don't get any more bonuses for keeping gold. So you never really want to stay above 50. Or... No, more than... You don't want to collect more. You always want to kind of get down to 50 in between rounds so you're making the most of your money. I'm keeping a safe econ, which I probably don't need to do. So I'm actually going to level to 7. Oh. Okay, apparently I messed it up. Because I... Oh, yeah, I have three eager sis in there. I was supposed to have two eager sis, six hunter. Um, I'm hoping this still works out in our favor, though. Yeah, why do we have... We have two wind rangers in there on accident. That's my bad. That should be our dwarf sniper, and then we'd have six marksmen, or six hunter, two eager sis. <laughs> of course, but we're still winning. So I ain't complaining. Still nobody we're looking for, so I'm just gonna level up until we're at about 50. 
Then I'm going to see which item this should go to. So they still want to put the item on our carry, which is a great idea. I agree. Now they're a little bit harder to kill. We got our positioning and it makes sense what we're looking at. So this guy's a melee. He's our best bet for a front line. He's the tankiest. These guys can draw a little bit of aggro and depending on if they have assassins, these guys can draw them out. Then we have our carry in the back corner so that it can attack more realistically because you see here an assassin wanted to jump to our unit but we have the dwarf sniper right behind it to bait out assassins trust me this guy has so many two stars though holy cow must be nice so we're gonna lose this one unsurprisingly because we have one two star but we're gonna start fine we're gonna where are they exactly all right well guess i'm just gonna start leveling is that well that needs to happen Wait a second. Oh, wait, we have duo of this. Wait, where did this come from? Wait a second. Oh, it's fixed. Wait, am I blind? I'm blind. I'm actually blind. Okay. Well, we do need to hit level nine for some other shenanigans for Marine. Uh, but good news is we're for Egersys 600, which means we're just doing even more damage. And yes, I'm going to get more raw damage. Why wouldn't I? Let's peep my items. We're going to combine these. Boop. Mm-hmm. All right. And Skull Hunter. Oh, he's not even a part of the build. That would be why. I've kept him in this whole time, but we don't actually need him. Now, each character also has their own ability. So, for instance, this Soul Reaper deals 100 magical damage to enemy units and 100 to healed ally units in three radius. So, he's big. He kills the enemy and keeps our people alive. Ready? He almost has max mana. Boom! Look at him healing all of us. We're all tethered to him. Meanwhile, our carry, when they activate their ability, even though they're just dead, it increases their attack speed. But we're all stunned. And I... Actually lost. Huh. Uh, do I have a level 2 of this dude? I do. You know, I'm just going to sell that. Dwarf Sniper, I have level 2. All right. So whichever one I get another two star up first is who we're just going to go for the three star. We're going to go with uh, extra mana region. Why not? And another staff, which means we can equip these. Oh, evil knight. Okay, we need that. Let's see. Come on. Let's find it. Please. Soul Reaper. No, I don't have room. All right. Uh, I already have level two. You, Sorry. Okay, we're buying that. Oh, star up. Okay, hold on. Level that up. That's a three star. <gasps> oh, shoot. Suddenly, it's looking pretty good, folks. All right, I'm going to place him over here. And then let's move all of our items. Oh, three star. We're nuts. And you can see on the damage graph, I never even showed you guys DPS, who's doing the most. Our three star is killing it right now, but I need to not put him in the front. That would be a smart idea. Uh, but other than that, we're chugging along. And we're winning. This is big. This is big. But we still haven't won against our nemesis. I'm going to worry about that later. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. You know what I mean? Hate to see it. Okay. Let's see if we can just get a star up here somewhere. I think I was pretty close, but I panicked when I saw him and I just sold things. Embarrassing. But uh, let me make sure I didn't take anyone out that I was supposed to have in there. It doesn't look like it. Let's position. Do that. With all of our oh my god look at this dwarf sniper double cheeked up with these items okay here we go the final battle there's no way i'm letting you get away with this hopefully the tsunami stalker did die immediately but i put him in the front so that's perfectly fine our dwarf sniper is popping off look at that oh never yeah look at that not even three star doing the most damage and just like that, winner, winner, chicken dinner, number one victory on an 11 win streak. We only lost, what, one, two games? <laughs> okay. What can I say? I'm built different. This forehead can only contain so much. That's why I have the game to help me. So like I said, folks, that is Auto Chess, available on the Epic Game Store right now for free.
Click the link down in the description box below to get it yourself. If you buy anything in the Epic Games store, be sure to use creator code Mr. Fruit. I would greatly appreciate it. And thanks again to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. If this at all looked fun or you want to get your feet wet, I'm telling you, it's beginner friendly. There's tons of guides out there and stuff as well. People are super friendly and will help you through it. So check it out. I hope some of this made sense. And if not, I hope you just kind of smiled and waved and said, I'm happy for you, Mr. Fruit. So, with that said, I want to thank all of us for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Farewell. well.